What's up guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be cleaning the rave valves on my 2011 Skidoo Summit. Hope you enjoy. So this is just the cap over those valves. So, and it's just two eight millimeter little screws on the outside. And there's two more eight millimeter bolts in here. And for these two guys, you'll take a 15 millimeter socket. So I got those two 15 millimeter nuts off and then you should be able to just slide this little cap right off. And then you have these ones right here, here, and um, then on the other side of them as well. So I got all those bolts out. I'm just gonna wanna pull these out nice and easy. And you're gonna wanna kinda pinch this middle part as you pull them out. Um, Cause there's springs and stuff. You don't want stuff to go flying everywhere. You can take these little hoses off. All right guys, so I got these things inside to uh, clean. Unfortunately, one of these little springs is broken. I gotta go order one of these. I've got some carb choke cleaner, which works great on this stuff. You can just spray it on there and rub it off, get it, you know, this one I already cleaned. It looks brand new pretty much. So yeah, you just wanna spray all these off. And as you can see right on these ends here, see all this, there's a little bit of carbon buildup right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those off. You can use a wire brush or um, a scotch bright if that stuff doesn't come off. And these actually come apart, guys. These plates just sit on here like this. So you can take this one off like this. Um, that just comes apart so you can clean that a little better. But this part also comes apart, but I'm not gonna take it apart. All right, I've got one of them fully cleaned and ready to go back in. Now I'm going to start working on this one. All right, guys, so I had to order one of these springs like you saw, but I just got it and now I'm gonna put these things back in. Uh, I'm just gonna show you real quick how you put these back together. So you got the whole ray valve with this piece off and you take your two springs, easiest way to do it, and you stick them on like this. Then kind of grab your valve, push it out, and then these springs go right on right there. And you can just push just like that. That's how they go on. Ready to put back in or pretty much. So let's go put these back in. So once you're ready to go put this on, um, make sure there's nothing on this surface right here. Just wipe it off. Come over with your ray valve. Try to kind of pinch it together so nothing falls down in your engine. It's a pain to get to it. Um, you kind of just slide this on in. You might have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it to go all the way down, but eventually it should, should go all the way down like that. Then you're gonna just thread these in and now that you got the valves in, you're just gonna wanna put these hoses back on. Clear ones are your oil hoses. And if there was a zip tie or a clamp around that, I had to take mine off to get them out. So just make sure you put another zip tie on there. Then this is your air hose. Same thing with this one. Make sure you've got a zip tie on there or something after you uh, just put them on. If you have the right torque wrench, these hex nuts right here get tightened down to 80 inch pounds. These two on each one. Um, then you're gonna have these eight mils right here. Those get tightened to 49 inch pounds. And then these plastic ones, when you put these 15 mils on, are going to be uh, 62 inch pounds. Okay guys, so after you get your uh, hex bolts in and your hoses back on, then you're gonna wanna take your sensor and that we'll be putting in now. Oh, cool. Okay guys, so as you maybe just saw, that's what you don't want to do, is drop a bolt down in there. You can see it sitting right there. You do happen to drop one in there. I want to invest in one of these little tools. It's got a little grabbing thing on the end. So, it makes fishing these out of your engine a heck of a lot easier. Anyways, so your sensor goes back in. Try not to drop your bolts down the engine. 
get them started. Pull this out. Get your Loctite on the back here. Okay guys, next thing to do is put this uh, cap on. And as you can see, it says top, so make sure you put that up on it. So put that on, take your Loctite again. Just a couple drops on there. And you take your 15 mil. Make sure you thread these 15 mils on by hand because they're super easy to strip with that plastic piece. Okay guys, so after you get these tightened down, all you have to do is get this cap back on, just like that. And then you have those two eight mils on the sides to um, hold that in. And then that's pretty much it for the rave house, so. Yeah.